This story was sent to me by Craig J, and it is coming out of North Carolina. Amazing. He sent me a story coming out of South Carolina. Now we head into the state above it in North Carolina for some more palm-colored debauchery. So, in this picture, you see a man who was allegedly 31. So, we went from a woman who was one year older than me that looked was a struggling 32 to now the person who's the same age as me who's still struggling. Like I said, Halloween is almost here. Anyway. This man's name is Anthony Neely, and he was recently arrested and charged for allegedly, they say, for keeping a child as a sex slave. I swear them FBI crime stats under that category just makes this story right here even more unrealistic. A North Carolina man was arrested earlier this month, allegedly keeping a child captive as a sex slave, according to police. Anthony Neely, age 31, allegedly was arrested October 9th in Kings Mountain, ending what authorities allege was years of abuse inflicted upon a child. According to arrest warrants obtained by Fox 46, the abuse began in January of 2015. So he's talking about for five years. And went on until last month. A neighbor close with the family of the victim says the abuse was investigated when the child, who was under 12, told a school counselor. Fox 46 reports. Neely has been living with family since the investigation began, according to a report. We'd see them walk up and down the road to go to school, and that's about it. They got toys outside and everything in the backyard. They got bikes and all kinds of stuff out there, but you don't never see them come outside any day of the week, one neighbor told them. Neely is charged with sexual servitude with a child victim, child abuse, including a sexual act, rape of a child of a, by an adult, statutory sex offense with a child by an adult, and human trafficking with a child victim. Neely is currently in the Cleveland County Jail with a $500,000 bond, and y'all know how I feel about when it comes to bonds with these kinds of cases. He shouldn't have one. Neely has, entered, has not entered a plea and is due back in court on October 29th. Official said, Inside Edition Digital has reached out to Neely's attorney for comment and have not yet heard back. Y'all also know how I feel about people who do stuff like this to children. Get that cinder block, tie them down, and drop it down like the guillotine, and let that be that. This guy, looking at his picture, he gives me Jeffrey Dahmer vibes. And we all know what type of person Jeffrey Dahmer was. I wasn't, I was very young. Well, when Jeffrey Dahmer finally was getting ready to get caught for his crimes, I was just born. And when he died or when he was killed in prison, I was probably what five. Cause I think he got killed in what 94 or something like that night, three ninety four. Um, but I know a little bit of his story and it's a sick story nonetheless, but he looks like Jeffrey Dahmer to me. Like anyone, like if y'all agree with me, put down in the comments, if you agree, but Sometimes, you know, I always say if you can look at a person nine times out of ten, they're crazy, most likely. Well, I'm about to upgrade that. Sometimes you can just look at a person and tell that they're a perv. Like this guy has the label of perv just written all over his face. And they said that he's been messing with this kid for, since 2015, since, you know, and the child is now 12. So this child was under the age of 10 when he started to do this. And, you know, I would have my suspicions would have rate would have arisen up if we saw this person, this guy with this child. And we knew he first off didn't have kids because it didn't specify if he had children. And I'm, I'm going to just say that he didn't or anything like that. And then speaking of kids, I would like to know because the article didn't specify whose kid was this. Like I always be I, I'm with my audience with this. A lot of times when you have stories about people molesting these kids, we be trying to figure out who do these kids belong to? Where are the parents or the guardian? Because a lot of the time, these kids who are being molested and, and, and raped and sexual, um, uh, sexual assault and all those things don't belong to the people who are doing that. So it's like, who who are the guardians? Are, are they deceased? Are they on vacation? Are they on drugs? Are they in jail? Like, what is it? Like, we never know because it doesn't it doesn't say who this kid belongs to. Because we're just going to safely assume that this child that he was molesting for all these years does not belong to him. Thank God. But still. It's it's a sick world we live in, and it's sad because you have some places that are trying to lower the age of consent. And you have people like this running around here. 
That's why they don't need to be lo- be trying to lower the age of consent when it comes to crimes such as these, because this will just give them the leeway to continue doing what they do and get away with it. And it's crazy because some will do stuff like this and it's illegal and still get away with it in this establishment that we live in. After all, when you think about what America had was founded on, it's not so surprising. But y'all, but, but y'all let me know what y'all think about that down in the comments and I'll talk to you in the next one.